I could be wrong, but I have I have a very strong feeling, almost I would actually call it a certainty, that our answer here is going to end up being an improper fraction. But I'm going to solve it anyway. So step one, you have to find a common denominator. My, my day is going great. How is your day going? Step one, we have to find a common denominator. And we do that by multiplying our two separate denominators. So five times four, we have to multiply five times four, five times four equals 20. So 20 is gonna be our common denominator for this problem here. Now to find our numerator, we have to multiply each numerator times the opposite denominator. So we're gonna multiply the four and four fifths times four. Four times four equals 16. Then the one and one fourth, we have to multiply that times five. One times five equals five. So four fifths has been converted to 16 twentieths. One fourth has been converted to five twentieths. And now we can add. Good question. I work with third, fourth, and fifth graders, so I would say this is fourth and fifth grade work. All right, 16 twentieths plus five twentieths. 16 plus five equals 21. Now that we have a common denominator, it will stay the same. So we have our answer, and it is an improper fraction. Four-fifths plus one-fourth equals 21 twentieths. Improper fractions can be converted to mixed numbers, but that'll be for another live stream also.